Coda's activate formula should never be used. Coda's documentation implies that it can open tables, views, columns, rows, and docs, but in reality, it can only open rows. That said, putting the formula in a button will make your interface easier for others to understand. To use this formula, add a button, go to button options, and click the formula icon under action. To open the row that you're currently on, type activate this row. You can also get fancy with Activate by filtering different tables and finding certain rows. For example, your project's table wants to look up its related tasks and open the next task that's due. With the button created on our project's table, we can use this formula to find the result. We want to activate a row in our task table, so we'll sort the task table so it's ascending and sorted by the task due date column. Then, we'll filter all those results to not include the tasks that have already been completed. Lastly, we'll select the first result in our properly sorted table. This gives us the next task that's due and isn't already complete. That's cool and all, but Activate has a major flaw of only opening the row in its source tables view. This means if you use different views in your reference tables to show specific information, you cannot specify that view. To fix this, just never use Activate, and instead use Open Row. 